So we are just from church. It's officially our first Saturday of the way, of the year for us. But of course, the year started like about two weeks ago. So when that back to school preparation mode and everything, and I kind of feel like my year is, has just officially started today. Is it ever? Is it ever a, a, a new year yes, if you haven't you gone know to church? My mom has buy, buy something that is for cleaning the house. Yes, you know the year has not officially started if you have not gone to church. Thank Ooh. God for the past year and also to ask Him to bless the coming year. So for me, I feel like today is actually my first. Like this is this is now a new year for me. I'm starting my new year. So I wanted to make this video first of all uh, because there are some things I bought that I wanted to share with you guys. This year, uh, from last year November, we've been nannyless. So if you follow me on uh, Instagram, which is Rita Mayaka across all pla platforms, you know that uh, since last year November we released our nanny to go home for for you know they leave Christmas uh, holiday leave. But uh, we have not been able to get a new nanny. So I've been uh, taking care of the kids myself. And that is because uh, the reason why I'm, I'm slow at getting a nanny is because I went back to school. It feels weird going back to school like in my late 30s. But I always say it is never too late to start over. It's never too late to redefine yourself, basically. So I'm doing a, an online course that um, will be basically uh, about taking care of special needs kids for my love for children. I thought of adding another child and I said, no, let me just do something that I'll still be around kids, but this time I'll be helping moms and, and kids who, are, who have special needs to live a more fulfilling life. And my friend Jackie is the one who encouraged me to do that course. Thank you very much, Jackie. I'm actually... I don't know how to say it, like everything around me right now is kind of magnified because I'm doing this course about behavior and um, why people do what they do. And so by by learning and going through these classes, every time I look at my kids and my surrounding, it's like everything is magnified. I look at it from that perspective and it has been a very fulfilling thing to do, honestly, because when you get to a certain age, you feel like you're living for your children now, you're no longer living for yourself. And this year, I my goal for this year is putting myself first and my family and the rest will follow, my friends in that category. Uh, and um, so that being said, uh, there are things I've bought to make my life at home easier now that I don't have a nanny. And uh, just to say this before I start showing this video, if there's something you've always wanted to do, and I know moms sometimes, we give up our dreams for the sake of our children, we give up our dreams for the sake of family, like it's never too late to reinvent yourself, it's never too late to start, okay? So when my kids go to school, I stay in the house to read, and I've been asking those exams uh, so far, so I hope I pass and uh, finally get to practice. So, uh, the first thing I bought was this washing machine, uh, sorry, not washing machine, <laughs> Washing machine was last year. This is a vacuum cleaner. To make what to Kiyosha carpets, we're using like a brush and it can be very hectic. So I'm just trying to relieve the workload. And I feel like this is it's necessary even when you have a nanny. Like you could you can use this to vacuum the, your carpets uh, to get the extra dust. So this is Philips. Uh, I got it from Carrefour. I've not assembled it yet, but I'm, I'm planning to, to test it today because Saturdays are my days of resetting the house so that the, we can just move along with the week uh, smoothly. So that's how it looks. It comes with this head and it also comes with this head. I think this is for corners. For the cable, it's quite long. Uh, of course, I can't, I can't pull it all the way, but here it is. It's quite long. And uh, it is... Um, 1800 watts i don't know how to give you the specs but i think i'm going to just do this so that you can read for yourself those are, those are the specs and here on the blue sticker this, these are the specs of the vacuum cleaner so i'm going to try it today so i'll give you guys a review once i try it out the next thing i bought is uh this it's called a spin a cordless pin it's rechargeable this is how it looks and the reason why i got this is because i've been having a lot of um, it's been very hectic to clean the bathrooms because i've been using a brush or uh, steel wool and stuff like that so basically it's a rechargeable cord it's a chargeable cord that 
you use to wash the walls, uh, the bathroom walls specifically. That is where I got it, and uh, that's how it's been. So all you have to do is just, you know, just take it around the the bathroom walls like that, and it cleans. And you can just pour water and rinse. So that's another one. You can get this online. I got this from Cody Cozy Beds Ke. I think I'm going to check their page and leave it down here. Uh, it comes with uh, three different heads. There's this small one for the corners, and then there's this one for wider surfaces. So I think these things are really going to make life easy for me now that um, I am nonetheless and I'm going to be nonetheless until I finish my course. And once I start practicing, then I think at that point is when I'll decide to get a nanny. So for now, or even never, if can still operate. <laughs> Another thing I got is this bucket. Uh, it comes with a mop. This is how the mop looks. I've already tried it, so that's why it's in the bucket. This is how it looks. And it rotates. This part rotates. It can go under the seat. So for the days when you want to clean, uh, but you don't want to move your seats and all that, this is what I use. And the other reason why I got this is because, like, today is Saturday. So today I'll be doing thorough cleaning for my house. And uh, maybe I clean the house, like, twice in a, in a week. Eh, I'm on a I clean the house like twice in a week. I am in here. And the code is pretty long. It's a bit light, to be honest, but I hope it can give me service. I clean the house twice in a week. Uh, rest of the days, I just do maintenance. So I, I bought this because it's easy. You just dip it in the bucket, squeeze it, and then just dust the house when you don't want to do the mopping and everything. So I feel like this will come in handy. Because also, kushikashi kamaji sana, inarugu mkono. You see? I love it's just a lot of work so it has these two parts uh, there's this part and this part uh, this part is for water for picking water this part is for kufinya maji i think once i settle down and learn how to use these things i'm going to show you how to use them uh, also it comes with like a button here there's a button here and there's like a button here which you can open to drain the water so these are the things that i got to make my life without a nanny easy. If there's anything you're using around the house that you feel is giving you, is making your life easy, kindly share in the comment section because I feel like I need all the things I need to make life around the house easy. So that being said, guys, um, let me go do my meal prep for the year. I've not done a meal prep. Uh, I'll be going back to the gym in February because I just wanted to set my whole year this month. And then also I didn't want to go to the gym in January because there's always too much traffic for people who have made resolutions and they're like, this is the year. And then by February, there's no, no one. So I just needed this time to just kind of set my year. And, uh, you know, I do my shopping, I panga my kids, try out this deal routine, see if it picks before we can, you know, start the year. So yeah, that being said, let me go make my but cooking for the year this year i'm still on the same diet which is protein dense diet and vegetables i'll show you guys what i'm making today Las son comparecencia Un pasito más para la indulgencia Un abogado por si acaso Y si el juez está de paso Termina dictaminando la sentencia ah, Ritmo presunto de inocencia ah, Pasito para atrás por si nos arrepentimos Si nadie es culpable pues culpamos al destino con él Sabe. 
bien, pero hace cinco dimos Nena, por tu forma de hablar, intuyo que Son comparecencias Un pasito más para la indulgencia Un abogado por si acaso Y si el juez está de paso Termina dictaminando la sentencia Salimos presuntos de inocencia Pasito para atrás por si nos arrepentimos Si nadie es culpable pues culpamos al destino con él days later and uh, as you saw uh, the menu the food I made that is basically what I eat so I have actually lost when I started um, my weight loss journey I was at 86 and currently I'm at 77 so I have lost about 9 kgs though it doesn't look like it but it feels like it and then also um, I eat protein based foods that is uh, meat uh, chicken um what else eggs things like that with vegetables most of the time once in a while i cheat especially on fridays because fridays are usually a social kind of day and sometimes it's difficult to stick on the diet but occasionally when i crave something else i still do eat but with moderation in moderation so that's just basically how it is the juices i i, I use the juices for for digestion most of the time because when I when I was big uh, I used to have a lot of constipation so I started juicing I started making the green juices smoothies and they have really helped me a lot to normalize my bowel movements now I feel lighter I'm not bloated all the time because I used to be so bloated tumbo to me for all the time now I couldn't cause I could go for like four or five days without going to the toilet but that is I can go every day or even twice a day because of the juices I make. You can go online and look at the juices that help with constipation or digestion and uh, use those recipes because that's where I got the recipes I use. So the first thing I wanted to tell you guys, um, now that I don't have a nanny, obviously, the things that I mentioned earlier that I wanted to review for you guys. And the most important thing for me, I think that has really saved, like, I think, 60% of the work in this house is the washing machine. I'm going to put a video here so that you're able to see the washing machine I'm talking about. Uh, if you're intending to live an earnless life, I think washing clothes is the most difficult part for me, or rather has been, had been for me. Getting a washing machine really made everything easy because I, can, I realized I can wash uh, sports shoes for kids, school bags for kids, sweaters, name it. And uh, it, it has really made life easy for me. Your washing machine in a washer and then it dries almost completely. So it only takes about an hour for the clothes to dry and you're able to fold them and put them back uh, in their respective places. So if you're looking for a washing machine and you have a, a big family, like my family, we have three kids um, and they're young kids. So they keep changing clothes. A 12 kg is, is uh, good enough because for me, like when I, when I load the bucket, I can load one bucket at a time. So it's quite special, it saves on time, it saves on water, soap and all that because you can load a lot at once. You can check the specs, I'll leave them running here so that you're able to see. I got it from Mika store in Westland, in Rail Towers. You can go there and check. And at the time when I was buying it, it was on offer. It was I think for 79,000. Uh, usually is more because that was during Black Friday. So I tried out the vacuum cleaner that I got from Carrefour and I also want to give you a review on that. Uh, you can see in this video here right here. I was trying to vacuum my carpets in my house I have one two three four five. I have six carpets and mats of course and I vacuumed my house um, The other day and I wanted to show you guys what I got from the from the dust in the house This is the vacuum cleaner 
and you'll be very surprised me i was shocked because sometimes i stay with these carpets for like three months without washing them and i'm like what have we been doing this is why the kids have been having flu all the time to nashinda to hospital so let me show you this is how you open it you just press this button right here and then this thing comes out like that so this is where the dirt goes eh? this right here is dirt from my living room only this right here the first day i vacuumed this thing was full completely full to the brim so that is to tell you just how much dirt we are having in our carpet at home and uh, i love the sanction of this i love the fact that you can actually detach it go and empty it and come back and put it back or even wash it and put it back like that and uh, here it has a uh, this cord when you want to pull it you just pull it when you want it to go back you just press here and it kind of pulls itself back i also love that about it and also when you're vacuuming you just press on this button right here this one once you press on this it starts vacuuming and also it comes with wheels so for easy movement and it's not very heavy so you can just keep vacuuming as you move so this is a 2000 series Philips if you are looking for vacuum cleaner you can go and check that out um, I really 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 loved it I've loved using it the sanction is very strong in a nyonya kabisa the dirt from the carpets you can also use it on dry surfaces if you want to vacuum uh, maybe mali penye kuna vumbi ama uchafu the sanction is very good Another thing I wanted to review is this one. I tried out this, uh, it's called a spin, a spin, spin mop, I don't know, spin brush. It's electric brush. It's, a, it's electric, it's, it's actually not electric, it, yeah, it's electric, you charge it. So this is where you charge it from. I love you remember to cover that part so that magic is in here. And this is how you switch it on. So that is how it goes. Now, the it's thing... electric scrubber. Yeah, the thing that um, I would say about this is if you have like two bed bathrooms, that's okay. But my house has four bathrooms, so I could not go through the second bathroom because they, they charge Leisha. So I have to plug it and then use it again. So for me, I kind of lost the momentum of scrubbing the bathroom with it. Because after cleaning one bathroom, uh, the second bathroom, it can easily be and journey. So I'd say that the, the energy that it stores is not a lot. Maybe if you have one bathroom or two bathrooms, maybe. My bathrooms are quite big. So I, I only go through one bathroom, Nikausha sink, uh, the bathroom walls and the floor. And the second one, I did the sink, the part of the bathroom wall, Kakwa floor ikazima. So I had to charge it. And then again, you know, when you have the sink to clean up, and you're ready to do it and then it could make so you kind of feel like you can't sit down and wait for it to charge you know you just have to look for alternative ways to do it so i felt like uh, for me i don't know for this particular household this might not be a deal but if you're a single person or a smaller household this maybe can come in handy my kids are home so they are making noise another thing that i got was this one i also tried it out Thank you. So this one, I can give it um, maybe a 7 out of 10 if I was to review it. Uh, of course, the, the, the old-fashioned mop work, works better when you're doing thorough cleaning. This one is just for maintenance. Just so that I avoid touching water all the time, like every single day when I mop. Because there are days I do thorough cleaning and there are days I just do maintenance. Please wonder on your manzi. So... It comes with the two spots as you can see one part is for water one part is for draining and um, as you can see here there's this part for this part is for water this part is for draining so now you put your omo and everything that you put when you're mopping the house and then sorry it's supposed to be the other way like that and then you take your mop like this it's wet so i wanted to show you guys let me just put it on the on my on my mini like this so when you're when you're fetching water from it you put it here you can see it's good 
smooth it comes out smoothly when you're drying it you use this side so this is what happens it drains the water you can see the water it drains the water as it goes down you can see it drains the water as it goes down therefore helping you to avoid touching water and squeezing uh, dusters and things like that so this one really comes in handy for the days when i've already done my cleaning and i just want to do the maintenance okay so those are some of the things that i have bought to make my life without a nanny easier if, if there are things that you feel like you need in your home you can also go purchase them um they're not uh, very expensive the only thing that is expensive here is the vacuum cleaner which is about 20k it was 19 and something to them to keep quiet the vacuum cleaner was about 20,000. Uh, the washing machine, of course, I've already told you the price. Uh, this one I can't remember. It was like about maybe 3,000 and something. You can check them online. These ones I got from Cozy Homes. I'm going to find the name and put it here. For these two particular uh, items, this one and this one. So that when you when you go online and you want to purchase them, you can get them from there. So if you are um, nanny less, kindly share other tips that you're using that are making your life easier. Because we intend to be nanny less until after April holiday. And then from there, we should be able to get a nanny. Or at least after I finish my exams and start practice, practicing, then after that we'll get a nanny. So, But for now, these are the things that I'm using that are really making life easy for me. And also, by the way, to mention all these things I'm, I've taught my kids, and it really makes life easy. Like, this mop is much easier for them to use to learn how to mop than the, the other mop, Ilya Kufinya. Also, the vacuum is pretty straightforward. You just switch it on and just move it back and forth, back and forth. So they can even help you with vacuuming. They can help you with mopping when you have such... Uh, items and uh, yeah so it makes it really makes life easier so that being said guys thank you for watching and see you in our next video